This show is made possible by the patrons at patreon.com. In the previous two episodes, we talked about various kinds of randomness that can be found in games. Today I'd like to touch on execution and argue that it has many of the same problems as hard output randomness, and therefore should be minimized whenever possible when designing games. First, execution usually refers to the existence of a dexterity requirement for making inputs. It can sometimes also refer to reflexes. In either case, execution refers to physical ability, which we can distinguish from things that we would normally consider conscious choices. While decisions refer to the questions of should, as in should I take this action over that action, execution refers to a different question of can. Can you make this dragon punch input right now? Can you micro that marine out of harm's way while continuing to build SCVs? Can you push the other guy's arm back? In the same way that a dice roll can blur and distort feedback, execution too can deliver a negative result from a good choice. You may have made the correct decision, but then made an input error that causes your decision to fail. And during a match, you actually have no control over your ability to execute. And so it ends up being the same output randomness problem as I described in episode 6. Players tend to prefer execution randomness to other kinds of randomness, such as dice rolls, because when they miss a shot, it's still something they technically did that made them fail. However, when it comes to an individual match, we actually have no more control over our own execution ability than we do our ability to draw cards better. All we can do is drill execution beforehand, which is similar to adding more good cards to the deck before the game even begins. This kind of pre-game stacking the deck comes with its own slew of problems, which we'll address in a future episode. Games, as I define them in episode 2 of this program, are fundamentally about making decisions. So in the same way that a system based on decision making is harmed by hard output randomness, a system like this is equally harmed by execution. Now of course there's a certain kind of value in measuring somebody's execution ability, but we already have a form that's great at doing just that, contests. A contest is a simple, linear measurement of any ability. Formal contests usually disallow the use of strategy to the extent that they can, explicitly because they want a clean measurement. Referees pay close attention to make sure that arm wrestling contestants are not using any weird techniques or getting creative, so that we can be sure that we're getting a clear reading of whose arm is stronger. The human mind needs some time to process information and then make something that we would normally call a decision. While not all games need to be turn-based, all games do need to allow players enough time to see the game state, process it, and then make a decision. By forcing players to rely on what their hands are already trained to do, you limit their play to only the most shallow and rote sorts of interactions. Thanks for watching.